It's my great honor to be here today with uh, John Donovan. He's a Chief Strategy Officer, AT&T Technology and Operations. John, um, what is your first impression with the FPT and uh, Vietnam for the first 24 hours? Well, um, it's only been 24 hours, but my first impression is very good. It's uh, It's been eye-opening for us to see the breadth of skills that FPT has, the commitment that they have, um, and also to learn a little bit just about the culture, the commitment that people have to their customers. So um, we've been very favorably uh, pleased by what we see. Yeah, great, right. So can you share us uh, your vision for future of uh, telecommunication industry and uh, how a partner like FPT can support that? Well, I think that um, there are certain things that are going on right now in technology that are bigger than any industry and I think that's an opportunity for FPT as they think about the evolution of technology to artificial intelligence, machine learning, yeah. um, unlocking the data in an organization so that it can be used to make those programs yeah. um, more effective and I think that that's true at AT&T, it's true in telecommunications industry but it's also true across all industry and I think that's an opportunity I think FPT has got to spend some energy to make sure they get on top of. When you think about um, telecommunications, telecommunications is in transition as well, not just technologically but as a business. Um, the explos explosive growth of mobile, yep. uh, the amount of video that's occurring over mobile, the changes in payment systems, in um, really the opportunity that, that uh, a mobile device provides for new ways to run for any organization to run processes and so I think for FPT the thought is there are certain things that are uh, trends in consumerism yeah. in telecommunications right. and there's certain things that I think are effective for enterprises and I think that the opportunity for FPT will be to help um, the telecommunications industry move from monolithic structures yeah. to microservices from process centric to data centric way of thinking and I think that that's going to be a great opportunity for you folks. Yeah, a lot of changes and uh, how do you uh, reskill your engineers and uh, what lesson or framework that an uh, FPT engineer can access or leverage uh, from that? Uh, that's a great question because as you probably are aware within our industry we are often viewed as one of the industry leaders technologically yeah. and, and while I think many people look at AT&T's programs and like what we're doing, a lot of them say the big inhibitor is people and the expertise of those people. And I think that the first thing you have to do is commit to the fact that you're not going to have a long life cycle of, of what you know. Um, you're not going to be able to just learn on projects anymore. You're going to have to put some time in to learn new technologies that right. come down the pike because the speed that which they're coming at us um, is greater than our ability to do in a formal and structured training program and so I think it's um, up to FPT to provide the projects and the tools and I think it's up to the individual to ensure that they're taking advantage of that and they're putting the time and energy in to not only be good at what they do today, but to be ready for what's going to be next up. Yeah, great, Jen. There are thousands of uh, computer science students are enrolling in the FPT University. And what your advice is to those students, especially the one who want to join AT&T project and want to succeed with that? Uh, study hard. <laughs> no, I, I think that the, the, when you think about what you're doing in the university, um, I think the advice is that when you move in to work on a multinational corporation's um, most important activities yeah. is to learn the role that you bring as a as a a new player in who understands new technology and to learn how to augment and learn from people with experience because um, as we heard this morning in this event which is a great event on AI um, there's a lot of processes that need to change and there's a lot of experience that people have in those processes so the answer isn't just technology technology and the company's processes and the experience of individuals all have to move together yeah, yeah. thank you very much for your time and your sharing we appreciate it thanks for having me I really enjoyed being here and I appreciate you uh, folks at FPT hosting me thank and you very the team. much thank you thank you